It does look straight. Oh man. But it's definitely not. Cut all three edges. I'm doing a video and I like, I spray the outside to like keep the dust down. So when I'm peeling, air peeling, it just gets jammed up. I almost creased it. I'm like, oh, we're gonna reach. We're gonna reshoot that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna do a basic install on this window. Uh, I've done those and this one, so this is the last one here. Um, we have our tarp set out here. I did have a, uh, a bench just so I can reach the very top of these windows. No need for a bench here. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. First thing you wanna do, this is a standard double, double pane glass. What I do is I double check all the edges and the corners for maybe potential urethane, over, overuse of urethane, like right there. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and cut it out and dig out that corner. All right, um, I don't see any more. This is a relatively new build, so everything looks Pretty clean and straightforward. Next, next step, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the glass just to clean everything up. This is a Teflon blade, a six inch Teflon Triumph blade, excuse me. Just gonna go ahead and clean everything up. This is gonna be safe for most most glass cleaning processes. The only time that it may, that it's gonna be not safe is if it's tempered glass, uh, just because of the manufacturing process. Tempered glass ends up having like tiny dust of glass particles. So if you scrape it with a Triumph blade, then you'll actually end up creating micro swirls or micro cuts into the glass. And you wanna avoid that. You'll know because it sounds like sandpaper. If you start that, just, Maybe test it in the corner if you're unsure. Because listen, clean, right? It'll sound and feel like you're scraping sandpaper if it's uh, if it's tempered. So just double check in the corner if you're unsure. Once I scrape, I'll take my Ulfa knife and I'll just dig out the corners. Because sometimes the Ulfa knife doesn't, I mean the Triumph blade doesn't get all the way into the corners. And I want to make sure that these are nice and clean, no contamination, no dust, no anything, because uh, those will be real susceptible to lifting if so. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and squeegee. I, uh, I use a, an S squeegee pattern. Um, I find it more effective and uh, you use less paper towels and other things like this versus the traditional 50% overlapping. Notice that like my squeegee didn't have to lift any at all. I didn't have to pick it up. So I, I like that. Next, paper towel, you know, wipe off all the edges. Just like that. Here I'm gonna do an air peel method. So just fold it in half with the liner out. Get it started. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down, the film will wrap around, the, uh, the, the liner will wrap around the film. And then once it's wrapped around all the way, you regrip in the corners and just pull straight down. Just like that. Keep a light grip on the film. That way you're not doing impressions or anything like that. Go ahead and wet it. Wet your glass. Now this one, I am actually gonna have to cut three sides. So I'm gonna line up the left side. Overlap in the top. And the bottom. Just the tiniest of gaps, 16th or smaller. So 
start squeegeeing. For any edges that are lined straight up, um, I'll squeegee you all the way to the edge, really push through there. Any edges that are overlapping that need to trim, I usually stay about an inch to a half an inch away because what I don't want it to do, I don't want it to squeegee it and then like it lifts because there's excess and then it'll create a finger and it'll create contamination to come back in. So there's that. I'm gonna cut my sides. tear away. I am going to get into a cutting video also. Notice that I don't go all the way could, but this method I feel is a little bit better just because you get a consistent angle on the, on the blade to the glass and um, yeah, and the, you get, keep a consistent gap. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna go back over all the edges that I didn't squeegee, the edges that I had to um, trim. Make sure you give it a good squeegee down. And at this point, good practice. Just go ahead and squeegee the window all over again. You're gonna be able to extract as much moisture as possible, shortening up the curing process. All right, we're almost done. Next, we just have to bump the edges and clean up the glass and we are done. Uh, one thing I like to do is I'll take a pipe paper towel and I'll go ahead and just wipe this bottom edge because I'm going to bump it anyways but I mean this is full of water right now so I'm going to bump it the point of bumping and it's just to extract just a little bit more water from the edge and and dry it up so that it doesn't create fingers so if I pick clean up that water beforehand then it makes it a little bit easier um, more effective so I'm just going to bump all the edges full coverage I do save the bottom for last again because all the moisture will be at the bottom um, and if I do it not last then I'd probably have to switch out my my paper towel using more paper towels boom just like that, that's how you install a basic window. Uh, I just have to wipe down the windowsill, everything else, get a little wet with a little alcohol, a little soapy water, and then just clean it up and you're good to go.